Hi there, Eva here from Essential Guide to Digital Jewelry Design. And today, in our quick tool tips tutorials, I'm going to look at the scaling tool in Rhino for Mac. So you'll see uh, the interface is a bit different from Rhino for PC. And we're just going to go right into building a box. We'll make it 20 by 20. And then we'll have a look at our four main scale tools. On the left you have your, your standard tools in Rhino and under your scale tool, let's take the first one, that's the scale 3D and we're just going to um, use our, wait let's first switch on the O snap here, there we go, it's on your left bottom panel and snap on the bottom corner, take the other corner in the X direction and you can see here that the box is scaling proportionally. It's scaled proportionally in every direction from the base point. So let's have a look at the second one that's scale 2D and with the scale 2D we'll use the same base point, the zero origin point, and uh, we'll grab our edge along the X axis and now when we scale it down, you'll see that in our front viewport it's proportional, but in the top and right you'll see that it's not scaling in our Y direction. That's because the 2D scale only scales in two, two axes. The third axis will be left as is. So let's have a look. Final one. Scale 1D. Let's grab the zero zero and edge along the x-axis. Here we see it's just scaling in one axis so we're just stretching and elongating like an accordion. Now looking at the fourth scaling tool in our scale tool set on our menu, um, that's non-uniform scale, we'll use the zero origin x-axis and you see here it scales only in one dimension, one dimension like the 1D scale tool. But once you've, you will scale in one direction, then the second direction, and finally in a third direction. So you, 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 you do your scaling in th three steps. And the final scaling tool you won't find in the transform tools under the tool. Uh, standard tools, you'll find it under your transform drop down menu. It's called stretch. So, stretch is a little bit more like a deformation tool. If we had to do the same thing as before, use our zero origin as origin base point and uh, the x axis edge, uh, it looks like it works like a 1D scale, but let's say we just took the end point uh, along the x-axis and scaled our box and you see that it just scales the edge. You don't really notice it with a box so let's take the sphere. I'm just going to build a sphere here in the center of our, uh, our grid. Um, and grab our stretch tool. And let's just use the top bit of the grid of, of the axis uh, on, along our Z and see what happens when we just pull a bit on top. So it just stretches that portion of the object. So let's take the bottom corner and see what happens if we do that. This takes a little while on the system, so you've got to give it some time to compute. Um, So we're just going to stretch the bottom corner. This will up your ISO curves by a lot. You know, have a very complex object. So just maybe rebuild it again afterwards so that you have a lower count. So see, you see you've got 472 uh, um, curves in the U direction. Let's just change it down to 150 and we'll make it a 3 degree on both. And rebuild and you can carry on working on this object without a problem. So that was our scaling tools in Rhino for Mac. Hope you enjoyed that and you learned something new. Uh, 
Have a great day.